Hello, and welcome to today's webinar on DoseSpot. We'll be going over how to sign up for DoseSpot, as well as how to use it. Any of our fees for DoseSpot can be found on our website at opendunnel.com. First, to sign up for DoseSpot, we do need to have customers on support with OpenDunnel. We recommend having the latest stable version of OpenDunnel as well. Any computers using DoseSpot will need to be on Windows 10 or newer for an operating system. And we need a working eConnector service on your OpenDunnel server to process your forms. Once these initial requirements have been fulfilled, we'll have you fill out our DoSpot registration form on our website at opendunnel.com. Once you click the submit button, please be sure to follow the instructions in the email that is sent to the DoSpot practice administrator. Please keep in mind, DoSpot practice admins cannot be providers. Once the form is submitted to our ERX team here at OpenDunnel, we will process the forms and send back an email to the DoSpot practice admin with further instructions to follow. This will include how to enter the IDs and keys, as well as instructions for your provider to follow for identity proofing, and if applicable, setting up two-factor authentication for sending controlled substances. Once all of the setup has been complete, to use DoSpot, we will log into OpenDunnel as a DoSpot user and select a patient. Click on the chart module on the left and click on the ERX button in the upper left. If your patient is under the age of 18, we will need to enter some vital signs here under the pink area in the patient information within the chart. Double click and click on the vital signs tab. Click add vital sign and then enter an approximate Height and weight. Click save and save. And click the ERX button again. This should launch DoSpot if there's no other issues found. First, add a pharmacy to a patient by clicking on the add edit pharmacies button and searching for a pharmacy. Please keep in mind that this is a national database, so any information entered will be searching across the country. I usually like to use the name, city, state, and zip code. Click the search button, and any pharmacies matching that search criteria will come up. I'm going to select the Walgreens here on Liberty Street. You can have multiple pharmacies attached to patients as well um, if they have a couple that they like to go to. Click the close button. If your patient is allergic to any medications or drugs, DoSpot can check for interactions as long as you add the drug allergy here under add edit drug allergies and searching for the allergy. Today our patient is allergic to penicillins. We'll give it a reaction type. Unfortunately, I don't have the reaction or onset dates, so I'm going to click save and it saves the allergy to the patient. We can click close. If your patient is taking any medications from an outside healthcare provider, we can click the add patient reported button here and search for the medication. Click the medication name and click save. This will add the medication to the active medications menu. So now we can go ahead and add a prescription to prescribe by clicking the add prescription button in the upper right and searching for the medication name here. If we can't find a medication by the brand name, try using the generic version. Down here at the bottom is our acetaminophen encoding. We'll select it and select the dosage and fill out our SIG. We'll give it a dispense amount. And this is what prints on the label when the prescription is dispensed. If this is a prescription that is frequently sent and the same SIG is used over and over, we can add it as a user favorite. We also have a clinic's favorites list available for office-wide favorites. Uh, so if you have a list of prescriptions that everybody in the office pulls from, the clinic favorites can be managed by the DoSpot practice administrator through the DoSpot admin console. If everything looks good, 
click the Save Prescription button. And if we have our star selected for a user's favorites, we will give it a favorites name. Anything that makes sense for picking the right prescription when for later. Click OK. And this will save the prescription to the pending medications menu. If a proxy user or non-provider is logged in, this will be where they stop and they will close the dose spot window to move on to another patient to set up a prescription for. Since we're logged in as a provider here, we will click the checkbox next to the name of the medication. And if all the steps have been taken properly and setup has been completed by your provider to send controlled substances, they'll be able to click the approve and send button, enter their pin code and a one-time passcode from their authenticator app. When you're finished prescribing, close the dose spot window and medications will sink into Open Dental's chart. This makes a great reference for anybody in the office who may not have access to dose spot or simply does not want to open up the program. If you click the number next to the ERX button and pending prescriptions, it'll open the menu for reviewing any pending prescriptions where they can click the view button next to the patient's name and verify if everything looks good. They will then rinse and repeat for signing and approving medications to send. Close the DoSpot window when you're completely finished. And that concludes our webinar today on DoSpot. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team at 503-363-5432 or click the question mark in any open dental window to access our help feature. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest training videos. See you next time.